Okay, so routing is going to be one of those rare exceptions where we just pull in a third party package rather than trying to build our own router from scratch, simply because these things are quite complex. There's a lot of regular expression stuff and pattern matching, and I think it would sort of overtake the whole course if we started getting into a big regular expressions lesson. And so we're going to use something called Fast Route, which uh, has a lot of downloads. It's well used. It's a very fast router, and it's also really easy to understand how it works. We'll have a quick overview of it now. So here. Uh, what you do is you obtain a dispatcher and basically you're adding a route like this. You're saying what method, for example, get. So if I make a client request uh, in the browser to a web page, that is a get request. If I was to submit a form, that would be a post request. So you tell it what type of uh, request you are making and then you provide a URI, but you can also provide patterns so for example this one here user followed by forward slash and then id is saying okay you then need to provide an id but this regex here is saying that it needs to be made up of one or more digits and so that's the kind of pattern matching that it does for example if we were looking for articles we would see something like this articles followed by a number and then the part in the square brackets here is optional. So you could have an article with a particular number and then you could optionally pass a title. So if you can imagine if we were trying to build something like this and do all the regex ourselves, it would run into well over an hour, probably, probably a couple of hours just to get that functionality in place. So why not use something which is already built? Because let's face it, if you look at any of the frameworks, Yi, Laravel, Symfony, they all use third-party packages which other people have built. It's a big community effort in order to produce those things. So we're just going along the same lines as what they've done there. That's a brief look at fast route. Obviously, we're going to look at it in more depth, but now let's start by actually pulling it in as a composer dependency. So the command that I need is docker compose and then exec app composer require and the package name is nikic fast route like so so fast hyphen route if you're not using docker and you just pull it in with composer which you have locally installed then obviously you just need the last part of the command which is composer require nikic fast route okay then we hit go that all looks good let's go over to our composer json just make sure that that is there and so i'm pulling in nikic fast route and it's version 2 okay in the next one we'll have a look at the basics of this package <laughs> 